Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to the Mina channel and a few days ago I did a video titled my favorite things of Persona 5 uh, In that video I talked about 5 of my favorite Persona things and um, while I was making this video I did it because there is the celebration of the 3 year anniversary of Persona 5 it's, been, it's 3 years old now, it's been released in Japan 3 years ago and while I was doing the video I was thinking um, Everything about Persona 5 was good, well, there was a lot of things that I really like about Persona 5, but uh, the game was not perfect, it had things that uh, I certainly didn't like as much as some of the stuff that I liked. Now, I, I did give the game a 10 out of 10, I thought it was a perfect game for me, and everything that I wanted to was in that game, however, I can admit that there were things that I certainly thought they could do better, and things that I want them to do better moving forward. So. Um, being this game titled uh, Three Things That I Don't Like About Persona 5, um, I do want you to take this with a grain of salt. I don't want you to think that this is kind of like a criticism on the game, or I don't like the game or whatever. I love the game and this is my one of my favorite games of all time. Um, so watch this video cautiously. Uh, if you disagree or agree, please comment below. Uh, but again, I do understand that this is an opinion piece, so um, don't want you to like fight me or anything. Uh, we can easily talk about this, but this is just my personal opinion. But without any uh, further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video. And um, one of the biggest things that I didn't like about this game, uh, as much as I thought I was gonna, or rather, once I played the game and I played it again, and then I thought about it a little bit more, was the story and the story don't get me wrong the story was pretty good i thought they had a lot of really good elements to it the the element of rebellion and pretty much everything that built up to a certain point on the story uh, i thought it was pretty good i thought um a lot of the stuff that they did with it was good however the pacing in the story was god awful for example let me just ex uh, explain within the first 15 hours of the story we have a tutorial the entire 15 hours of the story which is all the way to the point where you fight the first um dungeon which is kamoshira it's pretty good but it just drags it really drags 15 hours into a story getting introduced it's a little bit of much of a time it's a, it's a lot of time um however once you get that point you get you know the game starts rolling and everything is going good everything's going smooth you go through all this stuff and then at a certain point in the story the story drags again <laughs> and it drags again and it drags again all the way to the end by the time that you are thinking you're getting to the last dungeon nope you have 20 more hours to go with a different dungeon and there's more story and there's a twist and there is another twist and there's another twist <laughs> and by the third twist you're kind of like okay i'm not really surprised by any of this stuff and you need to stop acting like it's supposed to be really surprising because it's really not and that was one of the biggest things that i just kind of like correct me at you know a little bit and I did a separate video about this where I talked about the twist and what I thought about it and everything. But um, overall, I think that the story just suffered from a pacing issue. And it felt within a lot of the characters, which is my number two, my, the characters. Um, for example, Haru is one of the characters that joins your party, but she joins really late in the story. And um, story-wise, it makes sense that she joins late later on and everything like that. However, I think that because she joins so late in the story, it's really hard for you to like connect with her on a level. Have you, uh, have you had with other characters? I mean, you spend the character 65 something hours already, and spending only 30 hours or so with Haru is just a little bit you know it's like a little bit for this connect and you don't really get that amount of time as everybody else and that i really affects the way that i feel about that character opposed to all of the other characters opposed to pretty much everybody else that i got to know up until that point and i do feel like uh, the pacing is an issue but also the way that they introduce some of these characters isn't as good um i found that a lot of these characters were pretty much characters that uh, there's one thing that Persona does in general, Atlas does in general for Persona games, in which they grab a stereotype of a different character uh, or, or of a character and they slap it into something. For example, in Persona 3, there was a character that was a uh, dog with a heart, golden heart and he, you know, that's a stereotype or, or something like the tomboy. and. 
or the, you know whatever you got you can grab a stereotype and that's what they do they grab a stereotype and they stereotype the shit out of that character even at the end of the uh, of the particular confidant the stereotype still there you have uh, uncovered new layers to the stereotype but the stereotype which in the actual character is still there and it's still visible and you still see it and well there's a change the change is not big enough for the stereotype to break and I think that's the that's what they want to do which because they've done it before in Persona 3 and 4 where you grab a stereotype and the stereotype breaks over time because you get to know this character in a deeper level I don't think Persona 5 was able to do it as good as they could have and I understand why because they gra they changed the way the confidence worked and they focused on that other aspect of the, uh, of the uh, confidant uh, the characters themselves did more story wise the characters themselves had uh, this new stuff with the confidant they helped them and everything like that but on the other hand because they, they improved in, into all this stuff with the characters the uh, they took a backseat when it came to actually character development with a lot of these stereotypes and I thought it really felt like that in a lot of the moments um and again i really like a lot of these characters but i felt that they could have been gone even deeper with them and i hope there's something that they fix with persona uh royal i think that that is something that it can be easily fixed if they just go a little bit deeper and everything like that and the last thing i didn't like about uh persona 5 was mementos now the idea of mementos was really well implemented within the story itself mementos is basically the collective unconscious is when everybody's thoughts and memories and what they're thinking about and everything goes into this world which is exactly the same as the midnight channel in persona 4 uh, or similar to it it's just a reflection of that unconscious in general within the general population i really like the idea of it um however i think previous games have used that better and i i really do mean that i think that um the idea of it started really well but it dragged into something that i really wasn't too impressed uh, the last dungeon uh obviously spoilers and everything like that but i think that mementos could have used been used a little bit better story-wise and also within the actual dungeon itself i found it kind of boring sometimes to go to mementos because i just had to go there to grind or i just had to go there to do a mission or something like that I feel like if story-wise and within the actual gameplay there's something extra that makes you want to go to Mementos, I think it will be more beneficial. Um, I don't know what that could be, like whether it's a custom uh, dungeons, you know, maybe you can revisit the old dungeons or something extra, just something that makes it more... Um, story-wise the reason that, that really compels you to go to mementos i think that's one of the things that it was almost like a missed opportunity i like the idea of mementos but i think that this could have just done used a little bit better something better to to kind of just tie everything together because the story again i do like a lot of the stuff about it and i think there's some stuff that could use some work but i think that mementos could have been better utilized for the story itself um, which at the end it does make sense there's a lot of uh, stuff into it because I would, I would like to this will need spoilers but I do think that it could have just been better utilized I don't know, without going into spoilers like, that's just my thoughts on it uh, but that's it guys that is uh, three things that I didn't like about Persona 5 again I'm trying to express my thoughts about it without just you just saying just this sucked you know because it didn't suck I need to express how I felt about it and why I thought about it now you are free to disagree with this because this is a discussion slash conversation with you guys so if you guys want to comment below and just let me know what you guys thought about this if you play the game and everything please let me know in the comments below for now that is pretty much it guys uh if you're new please consider liking and subscribing and check out one of my other videos maybe uh, but that's pretty much it for today i'll see you next time